this initiative could not have come at a very a better, at a better time. The major security challenges in Ghana include, but not limited to armed robbery and land guard activities. These have become prominent in many parts of the country, which your security services have and continue to deal with. The relevance of this program today will bring a lot of relief to Ghanaians across the length and breadth of this country. The perception, the perpetrators in the north and in Upper West region will not be left out in this exercise. Crime commissions have become so sophisticated, especially with the usage of sophisticated weapons, including assault rifles, AK-47 guns, and very sophisticated pistols. While some criminals commit these crimes for economic gains, others do so and use the process to procure more sophisticated weapons. Mr. President, due to conflicts surrounding our dear nation, it is easy to procure arms across the borders. Though the security services have done everything and anything possible to ensure that small arms circulation is curtailed and minimized. This poses a serious threat to our nation and it's a time bomb if it's not kept. I'd like to plead with our judiciary to help in the swift prosecution of arrests that will be made by the patrol teams to boost the morale of our troops when they do go onto the field to work. Because when crimes are committed, and the perception is that people are not prosecuted as quickly as possible, others are emboldened to do the same. I crave the indulgence of the, public, of the members of the general public to contribute their quota by volunteering credible information, which will help the security services succeed in the fight against crime and the criminals when they go onto the field.